Money, money, Monday. Hey, everyone. Hello. Happy Monday. Mm -hmm. One thing we talk about a lot with our financial peace journey is being gazelle intense. But we realize that unless you've actually taken financial peace, you might not know what that actually means. Um, it's a term that Dave Ramsey uses a lot, but he actually got it from the Bible. So I wanted to read where it came from. Proverbs 6. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor or entered into an agreement with a stranger, you have been snared by the words of your mouth, trapped by the words from your mouth. So kind of in that case, it's talking about debt, like mm -hmm. talking about, yeah, being indebted to someone. Do this then, my son, and free yourself. For you have put yourself in your neighbor's power. Go humble yourself and plead with your neighbor. Don't give sleep to your eyes or slumber to your eyelids. Escape like a gazelle from a hunter, like a bird from a hunter's trap. So Cody, what does that mean? So what he's really saying here is if you have debt to anybody else, you can't just go about your life and figure it out eventually. He is saying do everything in your power to get rid of that debt. Go to the neighbor, go to the person that you owe money to and flee from that debt like a gazelle from the hand of a hunter, like a lion chasing a gazelle. You need to run out of debt. You I don't know if you've ever seen a video of a gazelle escaping an animal coming to eat it, but it's intense. It is. Those little suckers can move. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really easy for us to feel that intensity when we were in debt, especially, yeah. because we were, we were running from something. We were running from all of that interest, and we were running from feeling trapped under the weight of all of that debt. But then we got out of debt, which was really exciting. That's awesome. But the next step was about saving money. And that's when it all kind of started to slip. Yeah, it starts to get harder when we realize we don't have something else kind of forcing us to be gazelle intense. Getting out of debt was a really good way to do that. But when we're saving and planning for our own goals, we had to find ways to be that intentional with our money moving forward. Because we weren't running from something anymore. We were running right. towards something, but we weren't running from something. So that mm -hmm. like sense of urgency wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, so it was really hard. Um, and things, little things start creeping back in. You start not being as focused on the little things. And it's like, well, we're pretty close in this area. And those little things add up. And suddenly we'd realize that we are not as intentional with our money as we want to be and as we thought we were being. So being able to laser focus back in on those goals and come up with a plan to keep that intensity, even when you're out of debt, um, is really important. And what we found that really helps is that we have weekly check-ins with each other where we check the budget, we check our progress, we have like a goal chart literally up on our fridge so that we see it every single day that helps keep us focused on what our goals are and what we're trying to reach. And it's really helping us gain that gazelle intensity back again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we want to know, is there anything in your life or in your finances that you're especially gazelle intense about right now? We'd love to hear more. Share more in the comments. Yes, please. Thanks, everyone.